Watching a cartoon means getting used to the status quo and the current events surrounding the series. It's expected that things will always stay the same, though with certain cartoons that couldn't be further from the truth. Today we'll be going over the top 3 cartoon plot twists that really changed the game for these shows, and going back to watch them while also knowing of the twist makes you look at everything in a whole new perspective. Number 3. The Secret Past of Pops Regular show is, if you've seen any episodes, anything but regular. Each storyline may have Mordecai and Rigby going on a normal quest like delivering food, but there's always something ridiculous and insane that ends up happening. Because of this, viewers knew that there would constantly be weird enemies with weird backstories. However, nobody really expected that one of the show's main characters, Pops, had a secret past. In a season 7 episode titled Pops' Favorite Planet, he starts flying and was able to somehow lift things in the air without touching them. He had a very strange power that was never actually explained in the episode, and it was just dismissed as classic regular show weirdness. But this was really foreshadowing since we soon found out all about who this lovable, big-headed guy was. Pops was born on a planet called Lollyland along with his twin brother Antipops, who is the embodiment of all evil in the universe. Also, this planet really only existed as a battleground for these two brothers, and it was actually Pops' favorite planet from that one season 7 episode. Towards the end of regular show, it was revealed that Pops was actually the chosen one, and he was the guy supposed to stop evil and save the universe from utter destruction, which resulted in him having incredible powers in order to fight. Just finding out about his true identity was insane, especially when you watched all the previous seasons and he didn't really act like the hero of the universe. While it may seem like this was planned last minute, JG Quintel may have had a general idea of this backstory ever since the beginning. After all, a regular show student film was titled The Naive Man from Lally Land, and JG seemed to know the general things that would happen towards the end of the show. Number 2. Evil Morty when many Ricks in other universes were killed, it was assumed that a different Rick was responsible for it. While that was indeed the case, the big reveal at the end of the clone episode was that the evil Rick was actually being controlled by an evil Morty, who had been the perfect mastermind behind these murders. In the crazy cartoon world known as Rick and Morty, there are an infinite amount of universes, which means of course there's going to be one where Morty is much smarter and evil than his Rick. Our Rick himself said that Mortys can be really dangerous if they know what they're doing, and we see just how that happens here. Some people also thought that this would be a one-time appearance of Evil Morty in Season 1, and then he would never appear again because this show isn't typically story-driven. But in Season 3, he came back in yet another twist where he ran for president, then it was revealed that he was the same evil guy from two seasons ago. He killed everyone by sending them into space and staring out with a devilish smile. While it's true that Evil Morty's appearances are minimal, this show is setting him up to be one of the biggest villains. He hasn't been defeated in any way, in fact, he's only gotten more powerful since the first time he showed up. Whenever the face-off between him and our Morty begins, this show is going to head in an incredible direction. Number 1 Grunkle Stan's Secret Twin Brother Gravity Falls is one of the most mysterious cartoons out there, hiding codes and messages for viewers to discover. There were so many secrets about this small town, and undoubtedly the biggest one was who wrote the journals. When Dipper found the third journal, the author's name was taken out of the book, and he had no idea what to do. What soon followed was a season and a half of problem solving, theory making, and decoding. Dipper, along with the viewer, was dedicated to finding out the secret identity entity behind the author, and eventually we did get the answer. It was revealed in probably the best episode of the entire show, not what he seems, where all the events had led up to the opening of Grunkelstan's portal in his basement. Viewers were unsure of what to expect at first, but seeing the six-fingered man finally step out of the portal was insane. He grabbed his journal and took off his hood to reveal that he looked very much like Stan, and that's because he's his secret twin brother. For those who haven't watched Gravity Falls while it was airing, this was a popular fan theory made making the rounds online, and seeing it come true was just amazing. Stan not only had a twin brother, but he also offered the answer to the biggest question in the entire show. What's even better is that this plot twist was planned since the very beginning. In fact, there were plenty of hints that proved Grunkle Stan had a secret twin brother. The biggest clue was the hidden room in the season 1 episode Carpe Diem, which was later revealed to be used by his twin brother. Fascinating. What did you say your name was? Shmebulok Senior. It was finally a place where I felt at home. 
But something nagged at me. Where did it all come from? It seemed to me the answer must lie outside of our world, a dimension of weirdness leaking into ours. Many codes and minor clues in the show made this twist absolutely incredible, since it was properly set up. When Gravity Falls fans watched the author reveal play out, much like me, they screamed with hype. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below to know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.